This lesson is on angles formed by a tangent and a secant in a circle. So you see the tangent that just touches the circle at the point of tangent CD and the secant that goes through the circle. So the formula is angle one, this angle that's formed by the tangent and the secant, is equal to the difference of this arc minus this arc. So you take the bigger arc minus the smaller arc. Let's try a couple examples. Again, remember that all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. So if they give you these two, you can find this one. Because we know that 100 plus 80 is 180, and it takes 180 more to get all the way around the circle to get to 360. So now I have these two arcs. So angle 1 is equal to 1 half, the bigger arc, the 180, minus the smaller arc, the arcs that are intercepted by the tangent and the secant. 180 minus 80 is 100, and half of 100 is 50. So angle 1 is 50 degrees. Now this one's a little bit trickier because we have x's and y's, and I did want you to find y too. Oops, I didn't want you to know that it's 5. It, I don't think it is, but it might be. <laughs> okay, um, so in order to find x, which we need to find first, because we can't solve this with an x and a y unless we have two equations. So first we're going to find x, then we're going to find y using x. So if we remember that all the way around the circle is 100, I mean is 360, then we know that 360 equals 160 plus 27x plus 13x. If we subtract 160 from both sides, we get 200 equals we add 27 and 13, we get 40x. If we divide both sides by 40, divide by 10, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So x equals 5, not y. Now we need to find y. So now is when we go back and use our tangent secant formula. So we know that this arc minus this arc divided by, I mean, yes, divided by 2 equals angle 1. So let's find out what 27x and 13x are. Make it easier. So 27x, and x was 5, is equal to 135. And 13x, or 13 times 5, is equal to 65. So our formula says that the angle is equal to 1 half the two arcs subtracted. Well, 135 minus 65 is 70. So we're looking for 1 half of 70. 1 half of 70 is 35. Well, that is actually our angle. So our angle is 35. But they also ask for y. So we take 5y equal to 35. If we divide both sides by 5, we get y equals 7. And that is the lesson on angles formed by a tangent and a secant.